This is Ken with Exotic Nutrition and uh, today I'm going to show you how to change out the bearings or the bearing uh, package set for the 11 inch size treadmill wheel. Remember this is the 11 inch. First thing you have to do is to unscrew the center screw. Standard Phillips screwdriver. Remove the screw and the entire top plate will come off. Now remember you have two bearings in here. One is here and one is here. Sometimes the bearings will slide off when you take the plate off and it'll stay on this shaft. So just be cautious of that. Now with the bearing package set you get the replacement screw, you get two new bearings and you get a replacement shaft. Most times the shaft is fine and that you really doesn't wear it's just the bearings that wear so what you need to do is to take out the two bearings with a usually with a with a screwdriver you can work them out if you get one out you can punch the other one out through the other side start to come out there it is so there's the old bearing. Once you get one out, you can see the other bearing through the hole and you can just take the end of a Phillips screwdriver and pop it to get that other bearing out. And here's the second bearing. So now you have your top plate with no bearings in it. You simply want to take the new bearings and replace them back into the hole and push them in place. Make sure they're pushed all the way down. You could use the end of a screwdriver and tap them into place so that they go all the way in. The same with the underside. Put the bearing in, tap it in place with the screwdriver, then replace the part back onto the shaft. Put your screw back in, tighten it down, and your wheel is ready. Now, if you need to change out that shaft, this part here, that's pretty easy to do. Again, take the plate off, take a pliers, grab the nut at the bottom of the shaft and loosen it, and your shaft will unscrew. Put the replacement shaft in, Tighten it down. And replace the saucer. And screw your screw back in. And that's how you do it. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the 11 inch, uh, I'm sorry, the 14 inch treadmill wheel. This one's a little bit different. It has a, uh, a cartridge that contains the bearings. So when you get a replacement cartridge, it'll look like this. First thing you need to do is take the center screw out. Remove the saucer. Again, there's two bearings. One goes in the bottom. You see this one stayed on the shaft, so make sure that that goes in there. And the other one is here. So if one is already out, you could simply turn the plate over and pop the other one out from underneath with the end of a screwdriver. There's the two bearings. Okay, now some of the uh, wheels, the newer models of the wheels, come with a, uh, a special wrench to fit this bottom nut. If you have that wrench, terrific. If not, then you need to use an adjustable pliers to hold that nut. 
Now, sometimes it's relatively simple to turn this and remove the nut. But on the opposite side, there's a little silver disc and sometimes that will spin when you try to loosen that nut. So what you need to do is get a needle nose pliers and you need to hold that disc in place while you unscrew the nut from the opposite side. So hold the disc with the pliers by the edge, turn the saucer over, and then unscrew the nut. Remove the cartridge from the plate. Get your new cartridge. Take out the center screw. Put that to the side. Your shaft will come out and you'll see the two new bearings are already in place in the new shaft. Remove the bottom nut. Drop the new cartridge into place. You see the one bearing came out when I was doing that, so just make sure you put the bearing in and you, ha and you have both bearings in place. Then you simply have to screw that nut back on. Tighten it down with your wrench. Try to tighten it as best as you can. and then replace the saucer back on to the shaft. And make sure the bearings are in place now and they don't fall out when you're trying to put the saucer on. It might be easier to do it this way. And then replace the center screw. And that's it. Now, you may, um, if you've used your wheel for a long period of time, there may be some dirt buildup and the bearings will be a little bit tough to get out, but you should be able to pop those out with a screwdriver. Um, if you get a lot of dirt that's built up in there, it might be harder to get, a little harder to get them out, but they, but they do come out. So make sure that you, you take them out. If you get the cartridge, it already has the new bearings. You don't have to worry about taking them out. But if you're just replacing the bearings, and we do sell uh, just replacement bearings without having to get the whole cartridge, then you're going to have to work those old bearings out and put the new ones in and reassemble the wheel.